we came here and we couldn't get any water inside, no food, no, nothing. Um, so it's a bit disappointed. I think it's a bit capitalistic. Um, you couldn't get thing. water in Victoria Park? N not, in the, not inside here. Yeah, not inside. There's a water fountain, but you need a bottle. Yeah, you need a bottle. But we had to drink, or we had to eat first and drink the drinks and then empty the bottles of water that we bought to get in. So. Yeah. You have to know the tricks, it's really annoying otherwise. So have you been in any other parks? Uh, no, no I haven't. This is the first time I do something related to the Olympics, just about when it's, when it's about to finish. To putting fences all over these places, it's just destroyed. It should, it should be free to get in, walk in with your families and get your picnics and everyone enjoy. Not promoting McDonald's and bigger companies in the Olympics because it's just against sports. It's just promoting free sports, promoting a little bit more freedom and open-minded and healthiness. That's what it should be. But, but no, I think if you don't go around Stratford or around just here, or certain places you wouldn't notice that there's Olympics. You would think that everyone is on holidays and it's just normal tourist, uh, tourist and emptiness. And are you hopeful for the legacy for East London? I think East London is nice as it is. I don't think it needs any promotion. I think it already has it for Londoners. Um, yeah. And final question, Olympics? Not mine, not mine.